Ah. You're watching Today I Grew Up. To infinity and beyond! Hey howdy hey partners, welcome to Jurassic Park Toy Stories. I'm going to be doing some series here where I'm going to talk about movies and toy lines that I collect and tell you my thoughts and opinions about not only the movies, but the toy lines themselves. Today's episode is about Jurassic Park. I'm a huge fan. When I saw the first movie back in the 90s and I was pretty young, I remember being really scared after watching it. It felt so real to me. Steven Spielberg was the director behind that masterpiece, and ever since then, I loved all of his movies. Jaws, Indiana Jones, Back to the Future, basically all my favorite franchises, including Jurassic Park, and I was very excited when I finally heard that they were going to make some more movie-accurate inspired replica toys called the Hammond Collection, which is a vintage scale three and three quarter inch line, which is pretty awesome because they're really highly detailed, but they're very small, which means I have more room to display toys. One thing that I try to shy away from was six inch figures, but I really love them sometimes and I have to buy them, but I'm more excited when they have really good quality 3.75 inch figures. So I'm really excited for this line. Mattel has done an incredible job to give us these really movie accurate inspired details. Something that I wish we could have seen in the Lightyear or Toy Story toy lines. Sometimes we don't get the high quality details, but I guess because Jurassic Park, in my opinion, is appealed more to the adult collector, maybe that is why we are seeing a push for better details. Something I wish we would see more in the Toy Story community. Maybe in the future we will, because I've been trying to push that change. But this toy line has been great, and I've been very excited for all the toys that have dropped. The Ford Explorer coming out, the Jeep. We have constantly brand new Hammond Collection figures. I love collecting the humans, so I do have all the human figures for the Hammond Collection, and they're still coming out. I'm still waiting for a Dennis Nedry, the actual Hammond from Hammond Collection, <laughs> which is cool. I do have the Legacy figure here, but it's been interesting because they did a Legacy Collection and then it turned into Hammond Collection. They're still doing Legacy, but the Hammond is gonna be the ultimate. So these are the ones that are the most movie accurate inspired I guess, you know, for people out there who want the best of the best, those are the best to collect for the toy line. Now, something that I'm slightly scared and disappointed by recently was Mattel Creations created the Gates. Hold on to your butts and welcome to the official Mattel Creations live stream. Let's take a moment right now to see who's watching. I've been watching chat. I see today I grew up. I see today I grew up. All right, drum roll please. Everyone in the audience, hold your breath. The gates! Finally, we got something that we could put as our crown jewel of our centerpiece collection would be the gates to Jurassic Park. Because up until now, the biggest gates I've seen out there are just the Funko Pop gates, and those are not large enough for this scale. We need something massive. So Mattel Creations surprised us with a crowdfunding project. And I was just very surprised at how the product was launched because it wasn't set up for people to be successfully funding it. You know, they had tiers that were just kind of all over the place, you know, for, for the price of $250 plus shipping, you know, people wanted at least the fences to light up with the gates and more than just the Explorer, at least the, you know, the T-Rex or something. They did change the tiers now, but I feel like with only a week left, it's only 27% funded as of right now. So that means our chances of getting the gates are dwindling, unless some of you come in to try to save us collectors so that we can have the gates in our collection because if it's not funded, they're not gonna make the gates. Well, as far as we know. So I'm very, very, very anxious and nervous because I want this project to be funded and I want it to be successful. So I will pin the link to the crowdfund in the comment section of this video so you can go there yourself. And if you can please help us, Jurassic Park collectors and fans, have these gates in our collection, it'd be really awesome. And they've changed the tiers now so that you get more with the tier one of 5,000 backers. You get the gates, the fences that light up. The actual gates are motorized and has John Williams score when they open up and it's got the highly movie accurate detailed Ford Explorer. You also get an also little Tim figure that looks electrocuted. Pretty cool, but these gates are massive. So I can see why the price is a little high because 
you know, these are, this is a lot of plastic, you know, it's probably pretty heavy, I'm, I'm thinking, but I just really want this for my collection. I, it would be so amazing to have it. And I'm just very sad if it does not get funded. And I hope Mattel, even though maybe the crowdfund doesn't, maybe it falls through and it doesn't happen, if they could please release it in the future, fans like me would rejoice because we could finally have something better than this cardboard paper sleeve. So currently in my collection, all I have for the gates is this paper cardboard cutout of the gates, which is uh, actually a cover for a toy. It's from the Comic-Con exclusive Lawyer on the Toilet with the Hammond Collection Rex. I was able to get one uh, on Mattel Creations a while back, so that was fun. But I really want those gates because it would go in line with all these figures, the vehicles that I have, I have multiple, I have more than what you see here. This is just some of my favorite um, in my collection for Jurassic Park. I do have a lot more toys that won't fit on this table, but to have the gates, that's just so exciting. So from one fan to another, if you love Jurassic Park and you're collecting the Hammond collection especially, and you love these figures, please help make our dreams come true by helping fund the gates. I already got my pre-order in. I'm already a backer. I hope you become a backer because I really want these gates. I can't say it enough. This is my last ditch effort to try to reach out to the toy community out there. If you love Jurassic Park and you love toys, please make these gates happen. I'm gonna be so devastated if they're not made or released to the public after they teased us with the amazing video and the lights and sounds of the torches and the ambient noises of Jurassic Park, you know, dinosaurs and jungle sounds. It'd be so cool to just have on in my room with my toys. It's just, you know, glowing and making sounds. It just makes it more exciting and brings the movie to life for me as a big fan. That's something I've always wanted. I hope it gets funded. And that's one of the main reasons why I wanted to make this video. But Jurassic Park has a big piece of my heart. I've always been a fan. I've always been in love with the toys and the movies and including Jurassic World. And I have collected some Jurassic World memorabilia including some of the new uh, Mattel toys for uh, Jurassic World Dominion. I thought it was a great film. I loved seeing the legacy characters return, like Dr. Ellie Sattler and Dr. Ian Malcolm, and, and of course, Professor Grant. It was so great to see them return in the new movie, and I'm just so excited uh, for the DVD the pack that I just ordered, actually, in 4K Ultra HD, so I can enjoy all six of those movies now, which is... A lot you know you got the three Jurassic Parks and the three Jurassic Worlds now and I'm just enjoying everything that the movies and the toy line has to offer Mattel keep up what you're doing you're doing a great work on the Hammond collection I hope it continues so us collectors can keep fulfilling our dreams but please help fix the gate situation it is open to international backers now as well so if you're international you can get in on it. I know the campaign got a lot of criticism and a lot of fans are just angry either about the price or the tier system but please, if you're a fan like me and you want the gates, just make it happen. At the very least, I just want those gates so bad because yeah, we can make it out of paper, cardboard, styrofoam, maybe wood, but it's not the same. They won't be motorized gates. They won't have John Williams score. It won't have the, maybe the LED torches, but it won't have, you know, all the awesome features that this Mattel offering showed us. And especially with the fences that light up and blink, which is super cool. So I can't get over that and I'm super excited. Let's just hope in a week's time from this video, this actually does get funded from 27%. We see it to 100%, at least 5,000 backers. I'm really hoping. Mattel, if you're watching this, just hire me. I'd love to come on and give some great ideas. As a, you know, somebody who's been in the toy collecting field for over 10 years, I've been collecting toys and been you know, a leader in the community for collecting toys as well. And I'm just humbled and honored by this opportunity on YouTube to come on here on this platform and continue to share my love and passion for these movies and toys. Well, I'm going to be speaking more about other Toy Stories, including uh, Back to the Future, Indiana Jones, and more, and other things. If you want to see more of those videos, please check out my recent uploads. They're all going to be there. I just did one on Lightyear. I'm going to do one on Toy Story very soon. As always, partners, thank you so much for watching, liking, and commenting on these videos. It really helps support what I do here on YouTube. If you'd like to continue to support me on this journey, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you're alerted for future videos on this channel, and I'll see you, partners, on the next video review. Take care. You want the real Buzz Lightyear? You're, a, uh, you're an action figure. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a sad, 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 sad
sad, 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 strange little man. You are a child's plaything! Hey, Ham, look, I'm Picasso. I don't get it. 